Hello and welcome back to the Muscle Producer channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a rather interesting sort of video. I've really been thinking about it recently and I've been reflecting about my secondary school experience, uh, what it was like for me, how how quick it's gone, like it was so long ago, it was nearly four years ago, now, no, it was four years ago, um, and kind of like where I am today, and I kind of like applaud myself for how well I dealt with certain situations, um, I was very, very mature for my age at 16, I really was, I mean, me, my friends were really mature, like, it was quite funny to like look at people in my year and be like, wow, you've got like, like we would talk about it as well, we're like you've got a lot of growing up to do. So my message today is that high school, secondary school is not real life. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, what does that mean? Okay, so what I mean by that, and this is actually influenced by a podcast I listen to, because I completely, completely agree with it. High school does not replicate real life. Um, real life is so different from secondary school because you, when you're in secondary school, like that is your world, isn't it? Like you're not really. That's that's your own experience you've had, like with people, with decision making. Like that's all you've had. You've not really had much life experience, and so when you when uh, like an issue gets thrown your way. It's quite hard to deal with it. Um, but what I mean about that is that people who may be considered at the top, so like the popular people or the sporty people, you know, those sorts of people um, that have a lot of like sheep around and followers, um, you would you would assume that they would go on and do amazing things and they would, you know, that would be the same as society. And then maybe the people who are like the quiet ones or at the bottom, you know, would go on and maybe just have an average kind of life um, or you know not do much but that is so wrong you know because that's the assumption I had when I was in secondary school so that's why it resonates with me so much I've gone on to do an ama amazing amazing things like right now I'm in an amazing place like I've managed to achieve so much and hopefully even more great things in the future um, you know like going to university, going to college, going to sixth form, you know, getting a job in fashion, you know, doing, hitting a few milestones in YouTube, being in a range of projects in acting, you know, from TV to film. So I am so grateful. But know that you are not alone when facing troubles at secondary school. You know, you, you go through them. I've I've gone through a couple of, you know, issues. I mean, Overall, like I said, secondary school was, was great, it was amazing. Will I do it again? No. But it's memorable and I liked it and I had supportive friends, but there were obviously some times when I look back and I'm like, wow, that was really like, that was kind of like hard for me to deal with, you know? Like, for example, people would say something or something would happen, which was just obviously very just, ugh. I don't know, when you mix like young kids and going through puberty, and you know pressures it kind of does happen um not that i'm agreeing with it but it happens you know and it's good in the sense it toughens you up that is one thing i will say it prepared me for the entertainment industry because in the industry you have to be so you just have to have a really thick skin honestly like to hear some of the critiques to hear what casting directors tell you like they will straight up say no but i like you no this is not good you know, like when I've auditioned or worked in on films, on TV, you know, auditioning for things, filming things, you know, it, you know, it has toughened me up in the last few years. Uh, another topic I want to mention because it does kind of, it is something people may consider when talking about secondary school, it's bullying. Um, so when I think of bullying, I think of just really sad people, to be honest with you, the people who do it. Um, it is so clear and obvious and factual that the people that bully are sad and upset with their own life and so they project that onto you. It's a power thing so they will try and you know like be like one level higher than you in something. Um, so I remember this one kid so this is quite like you know digging in deep this one kid in year nine and I'm not gonna name his name I'm not going to name his name, but he wasn't the best, he wasn't the nicest. 
he did change later on, like year 10, year 11, so it's fine, whatever, I'm over it. But in year 9 specifically, he was, he was an ass. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope he's changed now, but him specifically, I won't forget. It was like, oh, what did you get on this test? Well, you know, how many friends do you have? It was like, looking back, it's so petty, it's so childish. Like, if someone said that now, I'd be like, really, girl? <laughs> but like, yeah, he was very, like, trying to, like, have one up on me. And looking back, um, he had so many issues going on. Um, but the thing is, is that it's so easily said than done, but ignore it. Like, I know it's really, like, ignore it kind of thing. Or don't even respond. You know, be like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Okay. It gives them nothing to respond to, you know. If you're like, if it's clear that you're offended or you're upset by it, then they're going to they're gonna feed off of that. So try and use that. I know it's so, like, looking back in hindsight, it's obviously, like, I'm t nearly 21 years old. I'm, an, I'm a young adult, like, it's so, it's so easy for me to say through my life experiences, through going to different schools, you know, going through my troubles and setbacks, but it's just something you need to just do. Know that the person bullying you has issues, okay? So it's, it's not you. Trust me, it's not you. Talk to a teacher, talk to a grown-up, um, because at the end of the day, this is something that should not go unsolved you know i kind of just kept it to myself i kind of just dealt with it myself it wasn't that big of a deal but at the end of the day it should not have happened you know um he was really nice lower years and he was really nice like upper years but year nine not great but um you're always gonna come across people like that um but more so in school because when you're like when you're like i want to say like 11 no maybe even eight eight to like 16 kind of those ages you're very competitive you don't think, you say the first thing that comes to your head. That's a typical teenager, a typical young person, you know. Um, that was me at least, and a lot of people that I do know. Um, you like look back at, why did I say that? Why did I do that? Like, But that's, that's the whole point of growing up and living, is that you learn from these mistakes. Um, and you just look back, you're like, wow. Um, there's always going to be that one person that just really annoys you, that really upsets you, that really just says stuff that just really gets under your skin. But yeah, no way should you be struggling with this issue and be dealing with all other issues in your life. You know, it's just completely unfair. So I'm always here if you want to talk, if you are being bullied or you know someone's being bullied, because that is something I honestly cannot stand. Like in sixth form, I was a year seven slash eight uh, anti-bullying ambassador. Um, and like um, an academic ambassador as well and I just spoke to these kids um, and this one boy was being bullied and I was just like like why like these kids like what do they get out of it you know like it's just so it's just so hard it was so hard for me to hear hard for me to like learn that that was happening but something I will say it's it's always nice to um, leave school and then look back on like kind of what everyone's doing you know career-wise educationally um kids partners you know um to look back and see that it's crazy because when you're 16 you think you're like so grown up and so grown but you're actually really really not like when i was 16 i thought i was so i thought i knew it all you know and then 18 i was like yep yeah, i know it all and now that i'm 20 i'm like geez i did not know anything when i was 16 and 18. it's just like so much can happen in six months like so many things can change. Um, so many opportunities can be thrown your way. So it's always nice to look back um, and reminisce. I'm not angry with what happened and I'm definitely grateful that I had these experiences through secondary school, um, you know, and being mixed with all different characters. That's why, that's why I'm so happy I went to a public school because I feel like in a private school, you don't, you're just, you're very like closed off from the world. Um, I never went to private school. Um, you're very closed off, you're just, you know, in a network that's people like you. Whereas where I went to school, it was different backgrounds, it was different religions, it was different economic statuses, you know, like working class, upper class, you know, sorts of people. And I'm so, so thankful for that, you know, because it, it has made me aware of these, you know, societal issues, but also um, it's massive, like, character development, you know, to be surrounded by these sorts of people. Maybe back then I was like, oh my God, why am I, Why are these even here? Like, why are these people even in my year? You know, they're so horrible. But 
you honestly you will look back and be like I'm thankful for that person because like they say people come into your life to um to like teach you things um you know to like for you to teach them things for them to teach you things you know they're like lessons um they're supposed to be there forever you know stuff like that those are sorts of people that will honestly shape you and you can actually look at those sorts of people and be like I don't want to ever be like that. If you have any questions, guys, um, about bullying, this is kind of turned into like a really deep conversation, but I kind of did want to kind of wind it into um, like a massive big life lesson and bullying and helping kids who are starting secondary school or who in primary school or who in secondary school are dealing with maybe some troubles, who don't really have anyone to turn to, you know, yada yada. So this video, I hope, hope will help. Um, and I think if you're an older person and you're watching this I think it's important to start a group that can help younger kids like I did, well not me but people in my year did in, that we did in sixth form where it's like anti-bullying group uh, at like lunchtime and break which they can go come to and you know just be themselves, mix with the people in their year um, you know and, and can have someone to talk to so I hope you enjoyed this video guys I hope it's been useful um, I just thought I'd bring it up and mention it. Uh, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Massimo G. Peluso, and my Facebook, Massimo Peluso YouTube, and I'll see you in my next video.